Alright guys, your boy is back and today I'm going to be bringing you my top 3 favorite characters from The Devil's a Part-Timer. Now I'm actually going to be basing this off the dub because it's one of the few shows that I actually prefer the- Actually it's the only anime apart from Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, that I actually enjoy the dub more than the sub. So I'm basing it on the dub. Uh, I've seen the sub first obviously but I just prefer the dub. So yeah, let's get right into it. Coming in at number 3, I got Chiho. Chiho is absolutely adorable. And not only that, her voice actress is, obviously again for the English, for the dub, is actually really good. It's not extremely high pitched like you have in some other anime that I've seen. And it's very well balanced. Also, another thing I really like is, um, basically if you watch the intro, it's not, it doesn't show in the anime. But in the manga goes a bit more into it, but what's it called? Uh, in the anime, during the opening, you can see Chiho um, doing archery. And in the manga, later on, spoiler alert, when Emmy's mother helps her out, what's it called? You see her floating in the sky with the bow and arrow. She just looked like a badass, in my opinion. And there was also another point in the manga, which I can't seem to find. I tried to find it through, I was looking through my volumes, so maybe I miss, maybe I'm misremembering the actual scene but i found something similar but i don't think that's what i was thinking about but basically um mao but what's it called proposed the idea of what's it called chiho becoming one of his demon generals and i was like Ooh, i would really like to see that obviously i don't i don't know if it's gonna happen or not. i don't know where it's going but what's it called the idea of her being a demon general is something i like to entertain just because It'd be really cool to see that, you know? And that's pretty much all because there's only one season. I don't really want to go too much into the manga. So, yeah, that's why I like Chiho, and that's why she's my number. She's my third favorite character from The Devil's a Part Timer. Alright, now coming in at number two, I got Lucifer. Lucifer, again, is. His design is amazing. Obviously, I like the idea of Lucifer. Um, what's it called? is being separate from Satan, you know, you have Satan, the Devil King, and then you have Lucifer, the Fallen Angel, which I think is great, you know, instead of making them one person, which I think I've seen, like, people describe them both as one person, I got confused when I saw that, they were two separate people, I even searched it up on the Google, I was like, are they the same people, and then, like, uh, I got some different answers, but back to the topic at hand, Lucifer's design looks dope as hell, um, and the fact that he turns into a neat uh, after it's all said and done is hilarious. And just overall, like, his character is just really funny. And especially, like, when I don't want to keep going into the manga, but in the manga, you know, obviously. Because I'm going to have to find these pictures and I'm going to have to post them. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I know where this one is. But, like, when. I forgot the guy's name, but when one of the angels comes down and, like, he has the guards around him and Lucifer tells them to back off, they basically listen to him because he used to be the leader of the Archangels, so he was like the top tier. He was, I think he was, they say he was the closest to God himself before he fell, but now like, especially in the anime when he says that heaven is a place on earth, or like a place on earth, especially specifically room, I don't remember the room, but he says the room after he beats up, I don't know if he beats up old, but like, I think he just has punches or something like that. But that was just, I was like, ooh. And when he makes them go back into their old hideout to get his, uh, was it a PSP? I'm pretty sure it was a PSP. And just overall, I really like his character. His design's dope as hell. And so yeah, that's why I put him as my second favorite. Now, number one is obviously Sadama, the Saiyan himself. Like, a lot of it, there's a good amount of animes where you feel like you side with like the devils as opposed to like God and them like that. But I think Mao does a very good job of me like supporting him as opposed to like the good side, like you know, Emmy, Susano, and like the angels and stuff like that. It's because he obviously has a duty to do as Satan, you know, to look after his people. He says it, I think in the manga or something like that, that they were in like desperate times or something like that. Like they were in trouble times, so he stepped up after, you know, getting help from Emmy's mother. Um, what's it called? To try and uh, better his uh, the place for the, what's it called, the demons and stuff. So obviously, 
he's not a human, so he doesn't have the human emotions, like, sympathy or anything like that. So he doesn't realize, like, you know, the stuff that he's doing is bad, you know, like, killing everybody and trying to take over Ente Isla. So when he does get into the human world and he starts becoming a human, well, he is a human. He has his human form. Uh, and he starts learning how it is to be human. He gets, like, he's, one, a super good worker. Like, he's top-notch, best worker I've ever seen. Um takes care of what's it called other people he feels bad etc he even says sorry he even apologizes for uh indirectly killing uh emmy's dad and it's just like you know he goes into this whole thing and even emmy says like if you have the ability for compassion why did you do all those things right it's like he learned from being a human all these things and i think that just shows good growth and yeah overall just an amazing character i really like him as a main character um, there's not too much else to say other than applauding his, <laughs> how good of a human he actually is, he's very nice, very kind person, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, those are my top three favorite characters for The Devil's a Part-Timer, and I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, go ahead and leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.